In this problem, we are given three line segments and their endpoints. And we're being asked to determine which of these segments are congruent. And congruent means uh, that they're the same size. Congruent really means same shape and same size, but these are line segments, so their shapes are all going to be the same. Uh, but what we want to know is if they're the same size, so basically the same length. And what we can do is use the distance formula to find the distance between the endpoints. That will be the same thing as the length of the segment. So that's what we'll do. We'll find the lengths of each of these segments, and then uh, we'll just check off which of these statements are true down here. So let's start by applying the distance formula to the endpoints of segment JK. So the distance formula says take the difference of the x-coordinates, square it, add it to the difference of the y-coordinates, square it, and then take the square root. So let's look at our x-coordinates. I've got negative 6 and 0. Those are 6 apart. I'm kind of doing that shorthand in my head. Uh, I could uh, do this subtraction, 0 minus a negative 6. That would be 6. So this is 6, and we'll square that. And then the y-coordinates, negative 7 and negative 8, they're only 1 apart. So I'm going to put in a 1 there and square it. So I've got 36 plus 1, that's 37. And we'll take the square root of that. And I don't really need to go any further than that. Um, they want an exact answer, and there isn't more, any simplification I can do with the square root of 37. So that is just the square root of 37. Let's look at this next one. So here, m and n, are the x-coordinates are 1 apart. So I would put in a 1 and square it. And the y-coordinates, 3 and negative 3, those are 6 apart. Negative 3 minus 3 would be a negative 6. You square that, you get 36. And what you see is we're going to get exactly the same thing. We're going to get the square root of 37 for this one. What that means is that these segments, jk and mn, are indeed congruent. Let's check pq here. Negative 8 to negative 2, that's a difference of 6. Oh, and look at this, 0 and 1, that's a difference of 1. So again, I'm going to get 6 squared plus 1 squared. I'm going to get the square root of 37 for that one as well. So all three of these segments are the same length, which means all three are congruent. And this little symbol down here, an equal sign with a little wavy thing on top, that means congruent. So JK is congruent to MN, JK is congruent to PQ, MN is congruent to PQ. So all of those are congruent.